All right, I'm out on the desert again camping. Springtime is officially here. Uh, when the breeze stops blowing, the no see come out and they about gag you to death out here. <laughs> I'm gonna set up my poncho here. <clears throat> you remember our ponchos are, uh, have three modes, poncho mode, hammock mode, and tarp mode. And so here's the foot of the poncho right there. For right now, I'm gonna use the drawstring and close the hood all the way down. That will make a, about a one gallon pocket in my hammock. This poncho is equipped with quick connect cords. And they are built in Dyneema cords. There's a sleeve in both ends of the poncho. Inside that sleeve is where cord goes for hammock. It can be parachute cord or whatever. Or if you have the quick connect cords, we install those in there and they're secured with a little snap. So we just reach in here, unsnap the snap, grab it. So we got a cord with an eye on both ends. Pull that down like that. That makes a gathered in hammock. I do that on the other end and we are ready to hang this thing. Okay, now this poncho here is in Atax IX. That's the camo pattern it's in. 1.9 ounce strip stop nylon. To go along with, you have an option when you choose the quick connect option to get a Dyneema daisy chain webbing. And I love this stuff. Every three inches, every three inches there's another Another daisy chain, another loop. These are woven. Each loop is tested at 1,500 pounds, 3,000 pounds overall for this webbing. Very easy to secure to the tree or whatever you're hooking up to. Just open a loop, put it around the branch. Then I'm gonna pull the long end through that. Okay, so I'm secured to the tree. All right, I've got both of my Dyneema, got both my Dyneema webbings all secured to the trees. Now when you, or if you order both the Quick Connect uh, cord and the Dyneema webbing when you order your poncho, we will uh, throw in these aluminum toggles. The way I like to do this is just put the daisy chain webbing through there and just decide where I'm going to put my toggle. The elastic can go just go over it keeps it from falling out. Although I've never had one falling out fall out yet even without it. I'm going to leave the elastic off until I get it adjusted. All right, we'll do the other side and we'll be hanging here. Okay, now as I mentioned a bit ago, uh, it's kind of it's a little bit of a breeze up here right now, but every time the breeze stops, the no, it's springtime on the desert. The no seams are just, I mean, you suck them in by the gallon. So we do have what we call slider bug net that goes on our poncho when it's in hammock mode. And I just happen to have one in a matching color here, <laughs> Atax IX. We call it a slider bug net because it go, which I'll show you, it goes on the hammock, on the, uh, the suspension line goes through it. And it can actually store at the foot end of the hammock. When you need it, you can grab it and you can pull it out and pull it over you. And you just string a ridge line just to hold it up and you're good to go. So let me, so what I'm gonna do is, well, so I'll pull it out of here. It comes strung for use with hammocks that are using parachute cord. 
So it comes with a parachute cord that's actually strung clear through the bug net. And you can, if you're using a parachute cord for your hammock, you can actually use this parachute cord that comes with the bug net to hang the foot end of your hammock. Now, if you're if you're not um, if you're not using that, then um, basically you can just dispense with it. Like we are not, we're using the quick connect cords. So for me, I'm just going to pull this parachute cord out of here. The idea is just to be simple, no uh, no zippers or stuff like that to worry about. Um, it has a drawstring at each end. So I'm going to just pull the... Just going to pull this thing out of here. Shove my cord through it. Pull this back up where it was. So this just strings down the length of your hammock. Now we do have a number of uh, of uh, tie out loops that can be used to put a ridge line through and uh, that way it just kind of holds it up. Now one of the nice things about using the uh, Dyneema daisy chain webbing is that every three inches I've got a place to put my ridge line for the bug net so I don't have to do any I don't have to do any other kind of stuff to rig it up. So I'm going to go ahead and we're running out of daylight here quickly so I'm going to go ahead and quickly run this ridge line through here and we'll get her set up. This is the small drawstring on this end so I just cinch that down nice and snug and that closes in and holds the foot end in place. Now I just now I'm actually ready to get in. <laughs> Okay, so, so the bug net is stored down at the foot end. So I just pull it over me. Then there's another drawstring on this end. So there we go. So now I'm all situated, I'm good to go. Whenever I need to get out, it's just a simple matter of grabbing the uh, drawstring, you squeeze the, squeeze the cord lock, and then I just go like this, push it down out of the way. Now I'm up out of here, so very simple in and out. So anyway, that's a little about the slider bug net. And again, showing you uh, showing you this thing in ATAX IX. So there's the bug net with nobody in it. Just got my blanket and my kind of sleeping gear in it, just to puff it out a little bit. But that makes a very nice, simple bug net. And these. These things are driving me crazy. They're out tonight. <laughs> this is going to be nice tonight to have this bug net over me. Let me tell you what. Let me just show you from the outside, I guess. So the nice thing is, that's why we call it a slider bug net. It slides, slides back. You get in. You slide it over you. Then you pull the drawstring up from the inside, of course. And that's it. There's really nothing to fuss around with. Pretty darn simple.